What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we gotta talk about the rumors that are going around right now on the potential main event for next year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 41. We gotta talk about this. The rumors have been speculating what uh, what might be the main event. We're gonna check this out, and uh, you know, we're gonna discuss. How do you guys feel about feel if this is the true main event for WrestleMania 41 next year? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the tweet and we're gonna have this discussion because this is a quite an interesting one. So this is brought to us by WrestleOps. Though the idea is not finalized, the Rock versus Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes is on the table for WrestleMania 41. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. If this is true, if this is the route that they want to go, I think it is a misstep. The only way I can see this being a viable option is if The Rock physically, I don't know, may not be able to handle a one-on-one -on -one match with either Cody or either Roman Reigns that's the only way I can think this would be the the route that they would go is if the rock physically couldn't handle a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute match main event because if you want to be honest the tag team match they had this year with Roman Reigns and the rock going against Cody and Seth it was a great way to kind of get the rock back in ring shape considering he hadn't really had a one-on-one -on -one match in the ring in quite some time. So he was able to kind of get his bearings, get his rest. And I think he did a great job out there. You know, he was in a tag team match, so he didn't have to be in a match, you know, majority of the time. I think he did a good job just with the amount of time he was out there and the spots that they did. So I think it worked. But that would be the only reason why I think you would do this is if if you don't feel like The Rock can go out there, or maybe The Rock doesn't feel like he can go out there and give us a 30-minute classic. Because let's be honest, your main event in WrestleMania, you're going one-on-one -on -one with someone, you're going to have to kind of deliver considering high, the high-profile match that it would be. So I, that's the only thing I can think of. Because to me, I, it, it, if that's not the reason why they would do this, it, it kind of gives off lazy booking because instead of building the stories they can have here with let's 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 just fantasy book for a second. The idea of The Rock coming back, he made it very clear that he wants to face Cody. He feels like his uh, the Roman story with Cody's done. He already lost, but The Rock pinned him at WrestleMania, so he wants to have that one on one. I think. The idea of that match is entertaining. I mean, to be honest with you, this past WrestleMania season, the feud was built up by The Rock and Cody. Not Roman, which is crazy when you think about it. The feud essentially was built up by Rock and Cody. That was the feud right there. Roman was the third wheel in this whole entire situation, if you want to be honest. So the idea of those going at it, I'm all down for that. I think that would be a fun match. The question is, would that happen at WrestleMania? Now, idealistically, I think a lot of us want to finally see Rock versus Roman. And the story you can get to that point is very simple. Very simple. Roman, he's made it very clear. He definitely wants a rematch against Cody to get his title back. Or he views it as his title still. So we gonna we're gonna get the rock, I mean Roman versus Cody three. And I think a lot of us would be okay to see that, but I don't think it needs to happen at WrestleMania. No. We've seen it twice at back to back WrestleManias. Uh Roman won at 39, Cody won at 40. You can do the third one at like hell, you can do it at um a Royal Rumble. You can do it before WrestleMania, to be honest with you. Most likely, the biggest show you could possibly put on would probably be a Royal Rumble. You could actually do it at a Royal Rumble, next year's Royal Rumble, if you want to. If that's the route you want to go, 
and what we saw with The Rock returning. Of course, The Rock is upset with what's been going on with the bloodlines. He's upset that Roman has helped Cody, essentially. You can set up a situation where we get Roman and Cody 3, and you can have The Rock cost Roman that match. You can have that. You can have that being said. You can have The Rock costing Roman that match. Now, say, for example, you you want to, you know, after that, you want to try to set up something, you know, The Rock would want to go for Cody. All right, cool. Maybe the idea would be, you know, The Rock gets Cody at WrestleMania. Or I'm, I'm actually doing this live in my head. All right, say earlier in the night, Roman and Cody happens because we know uh, the Royal Rumble would most likely be the main event. So Roman and Cody happens. The Rock or, you know, the bloodline and influenced by The Rock cost Roman the match, right? Cool. Later on in the show, most likely you could have The Rock be the number 30th entrant in the Royal Rumble because he can do that. He's the final boss. He can put himself any position he wants to. So he can solidify his one-on-one -on -one situation with Cody. And you can have the bloodline come out there, cause chaos. And then you can have the Roman get his revenge and ultimately cost The Rock his one-on-one -on -one opportunity by inadvertently getting him eliminated in the match, in the Royal Rumble match. Boom! So now you set up that, that course. Now granted... I know people still may want to see The Rock and Cody happen. And there's ways they can do that. Hell, they can do that even before the Royal Rumble if they want to. So it really just comes down to how they book it. But I think the greater story to me, if you're going to have it happen between these individuals, it needs to be separate matches. And I'm just using the Royal Rumble as an example because that's like the next major PLE before WrestleMania. So what I'm saying is ultimately the story could be Roman getting screwed out of the title because of The Rock and The Rock getting screwed out of the title because of Roman. And boom, we have their collision course at WrestleMania next year, which I think a lot of us want to see. That should be the main event. Not all three of them in one match, because to be honest with you, I love Cody to death, but he's going to be the third wheel. 10 times out of 10, he's going to be the third wheel and he's the champion. Kind of like how Roman essentially was the third wheel between, you know, The Rock and Cody. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think this needs to happen unless The Rock can't go, like, in the ring. That's the only logical thing I can think of why they would even consider this because of The Rock's in-ring type, you know... I wouldn't say health, but in-ring condition. That's the only thing I can think of. But I think this match needs to be separate. I don't think this is something that needs to be, uh, we just going to kill all, you know, kill three birds with one stone. No, 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 no. Rock and Cody, that can happen at some point before WrestleMania. Or hell, you may even, there are two nights. You can do a Rock and Cody if you want to, you know, for both nights. Granted, I think, the Rock and Roman should be the only solo build that they have. But Rock and Cody at some point. Then Roman and Cody at some point. Roman and Cody 3. And then Roman and Rock at WrestleMania. I don't know how you get to these points. But the story there is better than all of them being in one match. And then it could be a, a, a situation where you know at some point Roman and, and, and The Rock are going to at team up on Cody like I don't know it's just you could make some good story there too but I think the better booking decision would be ha at least to have separate matches have separate matches and that way you can build upon the separate matches and you can kind of go from there and you can create these stories of will The Rock betray Roman if he goes for the title? Will Roman betray The Rock if he goes for the title? Because they have legitimate issues on what's going on here. Roman can easily say the night after WrestleMania, you know, The Rock has essentially said, hey, bro, Roman is done. It's me and you now. He just pushed them to the side, essentially. 
So that's why I'm like, you can bring that up, but I don't think all three of these guys need to be in one match per se. That's just my personal opinion. I know it would be an entertaining match, but I do think separating the matches, at least having, you know, some of these matches take place between now and WrestleMania would be good, would be good because you're building it up. The idea is you can have some of these major matches at some of these PLEs before WrestleMania so that when we get to WrestleMania, it's the peak feud. And I, I love Cody, but the peak feud, without a doubt, the biggest match they could possibly put on is Rock and Roman. No titles involved other than who's truly the tribal chief, who's truly at the top of the bloodline that's the best match you can put on because honestly it's the biggest match you can put on and it deserves to be on this year's wrestlemania i don't this upcoming year's wrestlemania i don't know if they can wait a whole nother year i don't know if fans want to wait a whole nother year i think this would be the perfect time to pull that trigger and then you can essentially get cody away from this bloodline stuff after he feuds with the rock or whatever happens and you can have him focus on a few, which I think are uh, Randy Orton. I would love to see that at next year's WrestleMania. I think that can be a really good few that they can tell over some time and really get people involved. I think a lot of people want to see Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes. Who doesn't want to see Randy Orton once again potentially going for another world championship? We're going to see the same thing with John Cena at some point next year. So... I'm all for it, and it separates Cody, gets him in something else. We know the biggest match will be Roman versus Cody, and I think that needs to just be that. That's all I'm saying. So comment down below. Let me know. How would y'all feel about a triple threat match for the WWE Undisputed Championship between Cody, Roman, and The Rock? Or would you guys prefer separate matches between Roman and Cody then Roman and uh and The Rock, or maybe The Rock and Cody. Would y'all prefer separate matches leading up to WrestleMania? Y'all let me know how would y'all go about it. But I appreciate all love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.